There's the hole. Oh boy. Huh, well we're not getting back out that way. <laughs> Let's talk to the wall. <laughs> Do it! Ooh. I didn't see that coming either. That's weird how they phase you in and out. It's like annoying. Yeah, I don't like it either. Okay. I freaking hate this place. Too. Do you have the directions? Yeah, but I might have already fucked them up. <laughs> Go with this way. We'll know soon enough. Man. Uh oh. That would be a dead end. Feeling lonely? No one's gonna get that reference, I'm sure. Ah! What the fuck was fuck. that thing? It was like a spider or something. I've never seen that thing before, ever. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Alright, this is the door, but we, we can't We can't be here it. yet. There's one more thing we have to do. Oh, I know. I'm just showing oh. off that the door has nothing. Okay. Don't this way, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. What is that thing? In terrified confusion as he finds himself in a labyrinth. A grotesque creature. It looks like a freaking pixelated Spider-Man. I've never seen that thing before. <laughs> well, I know there's there's creatures down here. I know that there's something. Whoa, like that guy. Hello. You're ugly. A huge beast sporting a funny looking top knot bound in a crude hairpin on top of his head skulks in one dark corner of the labyrinth. Hello. Oh, he's... This means death, pretty much, doesn't it? <laughs> he's going... Can we talk to you? Da, ding, ding, da, 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 ding. Are you related to Cedric, perhaps? He's outside, you know. Uh, oh, ding, ding, da, da, ding, da, 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 ooh! I'm well, gonna love you oh, oh. and hug you. Shit, that's what Dink. Grandma, uh -huh, he's wearing his hat. He, yes. like, hugged him to death. He did. Squeezed him. Too much. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? What do we have that would even remotely entertain this guy? Oh, the harpy stole our harp. They liked it from us. We have a tambourine. Yeah, let's play some Maybe music. Maybe he liked hippie music. That, that seems the default response for pretty much everything in this game. Look, look, a shiny, a shiny, and it makes noise. Ooh. Yeah, he's grooving. Uh, uh, what? Hell? Just happened. <laughs> but he dropped the okay. shiny. Yay. Hairpin. Hair Why was he wearing a hairpin anyway? Uh, he wanted to be fancy. Ooh. Well, we can hang use a hairpin to pick the lock. <laughs> Even though most of the time that doesn't really actually work. Unless... No, no, go this way, Graham. <laughs> Graham? <laughs> what the fuck over here? Pick lock! Pick lock, bitches! Pick nose! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grab and search the hairpin, the door's large key fold, and discover it to his amazement that it fits perfectly! Perfectly! Turning, turning it ever so gently, he soon oh, hears Jesus. a soft click and the door is unlocked! Awesome! Oh, he doesn't open it? What could be- Oh! Hmm. Graham scans the various items lying in the shelves, shelves, but the text box goes away, <laughs> but doesn't see anything useful. Cabinets! Ooh! Ooh. Peas. peas! Give me the peas. I'll take the peas, please. Yes, I want all the peas. What the hell is he gonna do with those? Are you serious? Dried peas. Well, he uh, needs his daily dose of vegetables. I guess so. He hasn't eaten in a while. <laughs> Peas? <laughs> Go over here. Oh my god, this stupid block.
fuck stuff is pain in the ass in this game. Ooh. Ooh. Who's that? I don't know. Pretty window. Graham surveys the kitchen in Mordax Castle in disgust. It is an untidy mishmash of dirty pots, jars with unidentified contents, rags, and assorted junk. Graham can see nothing that interests him. Really? Not even the girl, Graham? I know. I was going to wonder about you a little bit. She looks pretty. Lovely young girl with long black hair, olive skin, and flashing green eyes laboriously scrubs the cold stone floor. Though wearing rags, her beauty nevertheless shines through. Aww. Yeah. Poor thing. We know you're married with teenage kids, Graham, but apparently you're not dead. <laughs> apparently he is friggin dead. It said nothing. Friggin nothing freaking in interest of him in here. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> you mean like. Maybe it's Cedric. Oh. <laughs> Good thing he's not in here, huh? Why couldn't I just fly through? Oh, you're scaring her. Don't come near me. Leave me alone. I would never hurt you. I'd like to help you, even though I have yeah, no idea I'd like to help you, you are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. You're probably one of them. I'm not. Believe me. Oh, shut up, Graham. You don't even know who them is. Just go away, please. I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. You pedo. Good job, Graham. Does this, is this how it goes with the, you all the time and the ladies? Apparently. Oh, it's got pictures in it! Picture of a couple? Who could it be? Well, this is the only shiny object we have left, so... Girls like jewelry and not really fish hooks, so let's try it. <laughs> How would you even guess to do this? Because girls like shiny objects, man. You give a girl something and she'll do what you say. And, and beat up the music, too. After did you find my gold locket? I thought it was gone for good. I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Mordak. What? What? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Tell me, who are you? And why did my accent just change? And why is his chin so large? <laughs> she seems like his arms, man. Jesus. My name is Princess Kasima from the Kingdom of the Green Isles. My father, the king, employs a horrible vizier who befriended Mordak. When Mordak saw me, he immediately wished to marry me and bring me here. Uh-huh. So you're vain too, right? Nice boobs. Yeah, really. Naturally, I refused, and my father agreed with me, but our refusal angered him so much that he stole me here anyway and put me to work as a scullery girl. That bastard. A woman in the kitchen. Away, oh, no. <laughs> he says he will never let me go, that a scullery girl I will remain until I agree to marry him, but the thought revolts me. What am I to do? Marry him anyway and caught up his dick. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> Takes a little sacrifice sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to save my family from the wizard. You got them here someplace in prison inside a glass bottle. If I can manage to rescue them, my stupid dialogue box. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordek's laboratory upstairs. Keep quiet about my presence. I think this must be the difficult part of my journey. I would never give you away, and I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. Can you yeah, make the dialogue you're kind boxes? now because you gave her a fucking piece of jewelry. <laughs> That's what this game teaches us. <laughs> oh. oh. Princess Kasima, who Graham now knows to have been stolen by Mordak from the Kingdom of the Green Isles, thank you, we just read that, looks pleased to see him. She's smiling in friendship. Did you say anything else? Touch her! Do it! Touch her now! Touch her boots. Touch. Perhaps he feels he can help to get her off this horrible island. Perhaps he feels he can help get her dress off. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sure he can help get her off. <laughs> It didn't look like there was much to it in the first place. By the way, who are you? I'm King Graham of Daventry. Why the hell did I, didn't I introduce so myself before? Why did you before? introduce yourself? Well, you're a fucking king with no manners. <laughs> I think I know where that is. It's very far from my home, though. Oh! What the fuck? What are you screaming about, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Somehow, I'll get you home again. But first, I've got to save my family. Fuck you. Get back in the kitchen and scrub that floor. Yes, well, I'll stand by you, King Grip. I'll help you if I can. Slap. Keep trying for it. Get back to work. Thanks. I may need it. Uh-huh. Well, I better get back to work, like I said three times already. And you should keep out of sight. You're a smart one, Kasima, huh? Aye, aye, my lady. Right. I'm, like, fucking up his voice so bad. But I really yeah, I like care. her better bent over. Let's just keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> She's facing the wrong way, though. Whoops. Now eh, we can turn around. 
Ooh. Uh-oh. I saw something move. Scary. A hideous yet fascinating pipe organ commands attention as Graham walks through a downstairs hallway. It moved, didn't it? Yes. Ooh. That's... Don't play that organ because you're going to die. Ooh. Uh. Save my game. Doesn't something happen in here? Yes. Yeah, something bad. I'm scared. Why does he have so many chairs? Uh, he obviously has many friends. Yeah, That's why I'm only sure two are out of place. <laughs> this appears to be the huge dining hall of the castle. Okay. That's a st look at that big nose on that thing. What is it, seared on the burger rack? It looks like one of those things from the Dark Crystal. I have that movie on DVD somewhere, but I have no idea what the crap it is. It's a good movie. Oh no, something happens in here that's scary. Ah, oh, like this! Yeah. Oh, a large beast rushes toward Graham with hatred in his red-rimmed eyes. Why is everything blue in this game? Seriously! <laughs> What is this thing supposed to be? What is it like? I, some kind of. It's so ugly. God, this thing used to scare the bejesus out of me when I was a kid. I never wanted to play to this part because I was so scared of it. And apparently he can move through portals. Uh, uh oh. What do we do now? Hey, look, a mouse just went into that hole. Let's fuck with it. Hey, we helped a rat before. Can you come back and help us, please? Moldy piece of cheese inside the mouse hole. Boy, you're getting desperate there, huh, Graham? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little fish hook to get it out. On its straws. Got it! The fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. This piece of cheese is critical, by the way. Yes. Oh, stupidest inventory items ever. The only thing stupider in this game is Cedric. I thought the cheese. He's the only non-integral part. Oh. I'm oh. trying to look around. Let's look Dingy at the cheese. Cell. The cheese stands low. Ew. Green mold covers a small piece of cheese. It's like neon. <laughs> it's radioactive. <laughs> and you just basically stand here. Are you serious? Who knows where? I don't know. Is that somebody's like leg bone over there? <laughs> yes, it <laughs> an arm. What? What's happening? Hello. What? Princess Cosima? Where did you come from? And why does my voice keep changing? From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. Oh boy. Um, and now we really see. <laughs> friends? Yes, like Dink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway, I found this loose stone once that led here to the cell. Now come on, you'd better get out of here. Yeah, okay. You go play with your friends. <laughs> Yeah, I, I never saw that yellow thing before, but I'm I'm, I'm wondering if I'm wondering if, if that's is, Sam. Is huh? that Sam? Yeah, really. And I guess here is you just got a follower. Yeah. And she'll just fucking take off without you if you take too long to follow her. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can't wait around. <laughs> There's no lanterns or anything. Wouldn't it be dark as shit in there? I would think so. Man. Why did you wait for us? God damn yeah, what the it. fuck? God, dumb bitch. Don't you know men never stop to ask for directions? You in a hurry to get back to fucking scrubbing the floor? Yeah, apparently so. Yep. She's desperate to get back on her knees again. Uh-huh. It's her life's work. Oh, thanks for holding the door! Rude. <sighs> Women. Tell ya. Yep. She's back to work. Hey, bitch. Yeah, you busily scrub that floor. You can busily scrub something else in mind when you're at it. Ha ha. <laughs> How many that's yeah. what she said jokes are we gonna put in here? We're not we don't even have to say it at this point, it's just happening. <laughs> We're gonna get like a million comments of that. <laughs> just go with it, Megan. 